All right, this video is for the tech support agents over at IK Multimedia. Gonna demonstrate some of the issues I've been having with the command and control versus uh, the iRig Blueboard and Amplitude 4. So we're gonna start out with the standalone mode uh, where everything's working fine. We'll go ahead and connect iRig Blueboard to the iRig Blueboard desktop application. There it is. Connect up, everything connected successfully. We'll go over to audio MIDI setup on Amplitude 4 and uh, select the MIDI input. iRig Blueboard shows up, we'll select that. I think that's probably the reason it works here and not in the VST part, but uh, I'm hitting buttons and everything works. So hitting the physical buttons on iRig Blueboard changes the presets as it's supposed to. Uh, we got a bank of Metallica sounds here on uh, MIDI 21 through 24. You hit the correct buttons A, B, C, and D and it selects the correct preset. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, where I start having problems, which is using Amplitude in any other mode um, as a plugin. So we'll try with GarageBand here. We'll go ahead and uh, start up a new project. I've got the new Axe IO is my in and out. And uh, so what we'll do here is resize the window so we can see some of the other stuff going on and select a plug-in. And uh, looking for Amplitude, there it is. Shows up just fine. And it's gonna pop up that uh, slightly different VST plug-in window. I'm gonna manually select uh, the preset I want, which is back to the Metallica sounds here. So we'll go and open the iRig Blueboard app again, the desktop app, and go ahead and connect up, turn it on my physical device, and there it is. And we have a successful connection between the two. So no communication here between iRig Blueboard and Amplitude VST plugin. So you can see as I'm hitting the physical buttons, which are highlighted here on the screen for you as well, my preset is remaining the same and not changing. So having that issue uh, here in GarageBand is a VST. So we'll take a look at one more program, which is uh, Jam Kazam. It's something that's been getting some popularity with everyone sheltering in place. Um, it's a program where you can jam with other people uh, online. And uh, take a look at my audio gear. I do have a, uh, a profile set up with the Axe.io as my in and out. We'll activate that. Go to the uh, sessions area and just start a solo session to test things out. Uh, there's my left input guitar and my right input vocal. Go to settings. So we can add a VST here to the left input where my guitar is at. Uh, over there at the drop down, and there's Amplitude 4. Go ahead and select that. And it's recognized successfully. So we'll close this window out. Go ahead and save the settings, and then you see this little waveform there. I can actually open up the VST window, which we'll do. And there it is, uh, similar to GarageBand, same kind of VST plugin um, aesthetic look to Amplitude 4. So we'll open the iRig Blueboard app again, turn on the board, try to get a connection, and consistently, no problems here. I can connect uh, the app to the board, no problem. Um, but as I hit physical buttons on the board once again, you can see the default preset there is not changing whatsoever. Yep, it's staying the same, so I will manually select 
that uh, same Metallica preset I like and see if there's any change that triggers anything in the software and it doesn't. Go to C, nothing. Go ahead and hit B, no change. And A, no change. And I got some highlights here on the screen to kind of show you. As I hit buttons, nothing is changing in the plug-in version of Amplitude 4. So that's the issue. As standalone, everything's A-OK, -okay, works as intended. However, anything outside of that, such as a plug-in, no communication and no control between Amplitude 4 and iRig Blueboard. Hope you guys can help. Thanks.